What's up guys? So in today's video, I do want to have a look at Bitcoin because Bitcoin can be dumping. We could see a massive, massive move coming to Bitcoin very, very soon. And I'm going to explain two reasons why this may happen and why we may retest that level. And the second region, the second reason is I'm going to have a look at the Fibonacci retracement and then see what we can do from here and why we could and maybe will come back to thirty thousand dollars now before anything guys this video is not financial advice so always do your own research and due diligence second of all we must not panic when bitcoin dumps we must not panic we will i will be accumulating personally uh, i know a lot of people that when they see bitcoin dump they they get frustrated they get upset they stopped uh you know believing in crypto and so on so we must not panic this is what i'm going to be having a look at and i'm going to be explaining to you guys why it's good the second thing is we're going to be having a look at KDA and Veracity, guys. One of my two favorite coins, Veracity is an altcoin gem, in my opinion, $86 million market cap. Why I think this can potentially fall 40% and we could potentially come back to a $40 million market cap. Now, guys, once again, this is good. This is good to come back to a 40 million market cap. Veracity has utility. It has one of the best um, roadmaps out there. Kadena as well, under 1 billion, proof of work, layer 1, beautiful. We got Kadena NFTs coming out. We got KDEX coming out. There's very, very bullish news around this ecosystem. So these two coins are gem in my opinion. Um, I'm going to be diving in. But first, let's have a look at Bitcoin and why I think it could go to $30,000. So <clears throat> starting off with this ascending channel, guys, we know that ascending channels are bullish, guys. Okay, there's no question. Ascending, I mean bearish, sorry. When we have an ascending channel, we usually end up breaking towards a downside. Now, the question is, and the main question that, that everyone is asking is, when is it going to break it? Well, if I actually zoom in right here, we actually did actually close below for the first time on the daily time frame since uh, we've been getting rejected. I mean, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, a few times. Now, I know I said this rep very repetitively uh, in the past few videos, but something that I really, really want to have a look at is this Fib retracement. Now, if I actually have a look at this Fib retracement, um, we're currently <clears throat> about to retest a 0.5 level, okay? Now, what's interesting about this is actually the 0.618 level. Now, that is the golden ratio. For those of you guys who know about the Fibonacci, you know, retracement, retracement Fibonacci sequence, we know that 6.18 is the golden ratio and we know that this is where the buyers are going to be the heavy heavy buyers right so and and what's interesting about this is that this actually line lines up exactly um with my support that i had earlier at 31,000 30,000 dollars so this level is a key key level to watch i mean 6.18 guys fibonacci doesn't lie this is why i think that we could uh, essentially re, re, uh, come back and retest um, this region. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see what plays out. Now, the, the weekly candle does close in 13 hours, okay? So we got 13 hours to essentially come back above this ascending, um, ascending channel and maybe make a retest to 50K. Now, that is unlikely because we are more... We are we are playing more towards the the bottom right now. Bitcoin's under $40,000. There's no question. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens there, right? Um, now, another thing is that this is sort of a bull, a bear flag, okay? Because we're coming from the top and then, you know, dumping on a descending trend, um, we're most likely going to come back down to, um, you know, to 30K. That's another reason why. Now, a lot of people are saying, oh, but this is a bull flag, right? So if you take this bull flag from the top and to the bottom, right, and then you extend it down, then why don't we come back down to 2,000? Well, guys... Well, it's 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 really like this, which is 10k. But I'm not I'm not really playing this bull flag. Really, uh, I mean, I'm just gonna be playing this 30k, which is approximately 20% dump from here, um, 20 19%. I'm not gonna be playing this bull flag. Oh, I mean this bear flag. Although this bear flag is bearish, and this ascending cha channel is bearish, and we got the Fibonacci uh, retracement that is bearish. I don't think we're gonna go down, you know, below 20k in my opinion. Even though 20k is possible, but I'm not saying we will. Um, right now, let's do it one step at a time. I think 31,000 is more likely 32,000 in the next couple of weeks. We're going to have to see how it, how it plays out. We have interest rate going up as well. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see how, how the market reacts. Another thing I want to have a look at, guys, is Kadena. Now, Kadena, I did mention in my videos, in my past two videos, that we must not panic, guys. I mean, things, you know, we're, we're dumping. Fine. We're below this very, very important uh, support right here. We broke the trend. Nothing too crazy. I mentioned that my first buy for Kadena would be 4.27 at this resistance. We could see another rejection right here. 
or we could see a massive, massive whip to the downside to 2.5. We must not panic, guys. I mean, if you believe in a project, um, if you believe in Bitcoin, you know, b believe in Kadena Veracity, there's no reason why you should be selling. Now, I'm not going to be telling you to buy or to sell or too long or too short. It's up to you. You know, you, you're at the end of the day, you're pressing the buttons. But like me, someone who believes in a technology like Kadena in the next few years, I will be accumulating right now. I'm currently down 20, 30 percent because I was accumulating right here, right here, right here, right here. And now I'm down. Is it a big deal? No, it's not a big deal. Um, and, uh, you know, for the people who bought at the top, I would my suggestion would be if you believe in this project is to essentially buy right now like this. You average your your um, your buy. Because what do what essentially what people do is people who bought right here they just wait for it to come back here and then expect for it to explode. Um, that's not gonna happen. I mean, you you have to dollar cost average, and this is what dollar costing averaging is: is to essentially buy and accumulate, buy and accumulate. And even if it keeps dumping, if you believe in the technology and you see how well the technology is, like me, I'm gonna be um, you know buying. This is almost a billion dollar coin, guys. This is not a um, scam coin. It's not a it's not a five million dollar uh, market cap coin. It's not a BS coin. So um, so that being said, I mean nothing too crazy to say over here that's uh just keep accumulating is all i have to say now veracity looking at veracity is also an accumulation raise on the daily time frame now if we manage to break above this support right here which is currently sitting at 1.8 i wouldn't be surprised if we come back to one cent now one cent is approximately a 45 percent dump now we must not panic okay 46.76 and we must not panic during this time and the reason why i say this is because guys people wish that they got into veracity right here in back in july almost a year ago people are like oh veracity was at you know under one cent i wish i got in well guess what if it goes first of all if right now it's a fantastic buy in my opinion 86 million market cap that's fantastic if it goes on 40 percent, we got 45 million market cap that's amazing this thing can still 50 hex even 100 x even if we go to 45 million it could still 100 x so 45 million market cap. The reason why I talk market cap and not price because at the end of the day, market cap matters and not really the price. Um, for those of you guys who don't know what, how to uh, calculate market cap, you essentially take the price times the circling supply. It would give you the market cap. And that's why we have 86 million. Same for Kadena. So market cap essentially tells you the amount of growth we have, right? For those of you guys who are new to um, crypto and, and, and whatnot, um, Bitcoin has a very, very high micro market cap, approximately 650 billion, 700 billion, even 800 billion dollar. We even peaked at 1.2 trillion dollars. Now, Bitcoin can't 100x, even though it could 10x and, you know, five, 10 years from now, still, um, it's not going to 100x like all these coins. Now, Veracity is not a BS coin. It has a lot of utility behind it. Um, and it has a, the roadmap is essentially very, very good. So I believe in Veracity, in my opinion. I think it's one of the most undervalued coin out there. It's traded on Huobi, Gate, um, KuCoin. So these are top exchanges. And uh, that's about it. I think in a few years from now, or in the next bull cycle, this can easily go to $1. And, and that's about it. Now, uh, 0 0.1 is very, very possible. We've been consolidating. Now, why is this an important level? Well, we have a few touches right here. One, two, three, four. We have four touches. If Bitcoin dumps, we're most likely going to see VRA dumping as well. Is that bad? No. Even though I'm going to be down 40, 50%, I'm not going to be crying. Why? Because I'm going to keep accumulating these, these regions. Because imagine I accumulate at one cent, right? And I go all the way up to two cents. I already made 86, 85%. Now, imagine we go back to the all-time highs. You make 792%. So, um whoever put money right here you at the, at the all-time high you essentially need eight times eight times less the amount of money you put to remake those gains so um or to have the money you put back then so if you put eight hundred dollars right here and you put a hundred dollars right here all you need you it's essentially going to be the the same thing right so um this is why it's important to dollar cost average guys and um you know, essentially buy the dip, accumulate as much as you can, because at the end of the day, people get rich off this patterns right here, not this cycle. Anyways, guys, this is my video on KDA, Veracity, and Bitcoin. If you guys like this video, of course, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.